AEP support the mission of the Navy and the Marine Corps by conducting and managing research in human performance. AEPs are not clinical psychologists. They do not provide mental health support or clinical care to warfighters. Our focus is really on optimizing the fit between the characteristics of individuals and the demands of the aviation environment. Everything you're doing, all the work you're doing, is applied to actually help the Navy, help the Marine Corps. Naval Aerospace Experimental Psychologists are a multidisciplinary community of wing psychologists within Navy medicine who support the Navy and Marine Corps and the Department of Defense through applied work, program management, and research. AEPs transform scientific evidence into specific recommendations for naval aviation leadership allowing those leaders to make quick and informed decisions to maximize mission readiness. AEPs occupy a unique niche in that we're both aircrew and scientists. By virtue of our combined experiences and knowledge in both those areas, we really bring a, a unique skill set and uh, are able to uniquely solve the challenges that they have. We're scientists who focus in the human systems arena, doing everything from research, managing it, conducting it, overseeing it, and participating in a wide range of training, selection, design, and other activities that are focused on enhancing human performance. AEPs use state-of-the-art psychology and human factors principles in the design and testing of aviation systems and technology. Our expertise in our technical domains like cognitive psychology, neuroscience and such enables us then to go look at the existing bodies of scientific literature and selectively pick the ones that are most valuable and most relative. AEPs perform bench level research and serve as principal investigators and often serve as program managers at more senior levels. To perform their missions in support of naval aviation and Navy medicine, naval aerospace experimental psychologists work in several core areas. Personnel selection. AEPs work on aviation officer selection systems to ensure selection procedures remain fair, valid, and at the cutting edge. AEPs are the sole scientists in charge of maintaining and supporting uh, the aviation selection test battery, which is the test that's used to select all Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. AEPs are responsible for maintaining and evaluating the tools used to select candidates for naval aviation training. In addition, they keep an eye toward development of new tools and techniques that can be used to improve the efficacy of these processes. Human Systems Integration the interaction between aviators and the systems they use can be incredibly complex. Human systems integration is looking at human factors issues, how most commonly ergonomics, how easy is something to use. You can design a system that meets all the requirements that you need, but then when you put the person in there, you realize, oh, the person can't stay awake for 30 hours even though the machine can keep working. Our job is to understand what their mission is, the importance of the different displays and knobs, and then develop the uh, features of those so that they're most easy for the pilots to use so they don't have to put as much thought into how they use it. Aviation Training. AEP work in aviation training research helps ensure that U.S. Naval aviators remain the best trained force in the world. AEPs help the Navy with the training process in three primary ways. First, by helping the Navy to understand uh, the skills that are required for individuals to perform the job. Second, by actually helping with the design and development of those training systems. And third, through the evaluation of those training systems to make sure that they are providing the most effective environment for individuals to practice the skills that they've learned. Aviation Safety A safe pilot and aircraft are vital to mission success. AEPs contribute to aviation safety through analysis of mishap data to help explain how, when, and why mishaps occur. We try and encourage a culture of safety within you know, the squadrons, within different commands, and to be able to do that you have to inform people, you have to educate people. We play a role in making sure that those systems are functional and meet the needs uh, of the warfighter and provide uh, effective protection from the, the aviation environment in which they operate, which is often very dangerous. Systems acquisition. Combat systems, like combat itself, are constantly changing and evolving. 
AEPs provide critical support through all phases of the systems acquisition process, from specification of initial requirements through evaluation of the tools provided by contractors, and finally, through transition of these tools to the warfighters who need them. We'll go out, canvas uh, the current technology, look for the best technology that's out there. Having one foot in the aviation world at all times where we actually fly in these aircraft really gives us an opportunity to make sure that the best products are going out to our pilots and air crew. To be considered for aerospace experimental psychologist designation, applicants are typically required to hold a Ph.D. in experimental psychology or a related discipline, have experience with data analysis and the publication process, and are required to be U.S. citizens. AEPs must also meet aviation physical standards, must finish the Naval Aerospace Medical Institute Aeromedical Officer course, and must complete the prescribed flight training and water survival syllabus. Graduates are required to serve a three-year utilization tour on active duty as a Naval Aerospace Experimental Psychologist. They also log a minimum of 48 hours of flight time per year throughout their careers. AEP serve in billets around the continental U.S. with concentrations in the Washington, D.C. area, Pensacola, Florida, Orlando, Florida, and Dayton, Ohio. They also serve in professorships at the Air Force Academy and the Naval Postgraduate School. Through our contributions in basic research, program management, and technology transition, we provide broad support at all levels to the naval aviation enterprise. We think about how the aviation environment is going to change in 10, 20, 30 years, and how we're going to have new technologies in there, and how pilots are going to interact with their cockpit. Every day it's something new. Every day it's a new challenge, and I consider if you're a highly motivated person, you would love this type of job. Everything you're doing, all the work you're doing is applied to actually help the Navy, help the Marine Corps, and help your government. And uh, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to be able to do that. For more information about the Navy Medicine's Aerospace Experimental Psychology Program, go to www.navyaep.com.